Um, I'm going to spend the balance of the broadcast now dealing with pole shift. Um, we live on an ever-changing world. We're hit by comets. We're hit by asteroids, uh, solar flares. NASA admits if a direct solar flare ever points towards the Earth, uh, it will blow out all of the satellites that are on the sunward side of the planet. That will cause serious issues. As we become more and more dependent on technology, pole movements or huge pole shifts, solar storms will affect us. And the sun is the biggest driver of climate and climatological change on this planet. And uh, Paul Joseph Watson has put together a detailed report that we think is very important for everybody out there talking right now about pole shift. And why are we talking about it now? Well, we're talking about it now because for close to 80 years, they've been studying the magnetic fields of the poles. And the last 50 or so, there's been intense metering of them at stations around the globe. And uh, you could spend days trying to read all of the NASA reports, uh, Scientific American reports, the list goes on and on. Uh, Fox News reports confirming that the pole is moving and is beginning to shift. We don't know how much it's going to shift faster than it's ever has shifted uh, since it's been recorded. Now, that isn't as scary as it sounds. It could be, but we don't know. Uh, because we don't know that it doesn't fluctuate every 50 or 100 or 75 years or randomly whenever the sun goes through different permutations of cycles. Uh, but if it shifted a few thousand miles, uh, it, 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 cataclysmic. Oceans rising. Uh, Texas could find itself where the North Pole is if there was a 3,000-mile shift. Um, if there was a 5,000-mile shift, uh, you know, Texas could find itself, uh, you know, basically where Japan is. I mean, it, it's unlimited. And right now it's moving towards Russia and it is moving. And I've, all over the years, I heard all these scientists and people saying it was going to shift. It was moving that, 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 and there's historians that have studied it and gone into the ancient text when things like this were reported. We're going to start looking at it more because, you know, I only go off stuff I can prove. And uh, I, I don't like to get up here with, oh, cataclysm. And I remember back in 99, oh, Planet X will be here next year. And then it wasn't there. And then it's going to be there the next year. And people attack me for, you know, saying that I thought it was uh, at certain levels of fraud. Are there other planets out on the Kuiper Belt? Undoubtedly, they found hundreds of planetoids as big or bigger than Pluto. That's why they've delisted it as the ninth planet, because you'd have to count all those others as planets. I mean, in, in a way, I tend to agree uh, with that analysis, because, you know, there's so many. Uh, but, but the thing is, we don't know. Uh, now they admit, watching the Shoemaker-Levy comet that broke up and hit Saturn, that we probably get hit every, it could be six, seven, eight thousand years by giant asteroids. They don't know, but they know it's more often than they previously thought every million or so. Um, we might be able to do something about that with space-based weapons, but then the globalists admit that they want to use it as a cover to weaponize space and turn the weapons uh, back on the Earth. But uh, our technology lets us deal with that. But our technology is not going to be able to deal in the foreseeable future. I mean, that's godlike power uh, with the sun and with its magnetic waves. And if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, we'll put back on screen, pole shift threatens to cause weather chaos. And that's a, we scroll down a bit, a NASA... Uh, graphic of the sun and the magnetic uh, waves uh, of the earth up there at the top, uh, the photo uh, graphic. Uh, you can see basically uh, the charted measured magnetic waves uh, of the earth because the earth obviously is so massive. Uh, it creates some gravitational system. Uh, and then you've got the Van Allen radiation belt and other things uh, that protect us from solar radiation. Then you have on average in the atmosphere uh, from the upper areas of the atmosphere to, to sea level, on average around 10 feet of water. If you condensed all the, all the water uh, vapor down, on average it's about 10 feet. There's several inches of rock uh, in the atmosphere. If they condense all the rock dust and, and potash and volcanic ash, and pollen and things that are in the atmosphere and, and, and bugs. Bugs get blown up into the sky and they found frozen spiders and things that uh, they've tested and that are thousands of years old that have been up there floating around. So there's several inches of rock and other particular that also is a shield that the sun has to shoot through. Um, so we have this article dealing with the full spectrum of what we know is happening right now. 
Uh, and so, yes, it could be quite alarming. I mean, this could happen. And uh, it is moving now faster and faster. Pole shift threatens to cause weather chaos. Will paying billions of dollars in carbon taxes to Al Gore and his cronies solve the problem? Because obviously they're saying all this weather and cold weather is global warming and magnetic pole changes are, are, are global warming and pay them taxes and it'll fix it. And Paul Watson's article uh, is very, very um, important and I think everybody uh, needs to see it. Again, pole shift threatens to cause weather chaos. According to some experts, the world's weather is about to get even more chaotic as a result of natural climate change uh, that we can do absolutely nothing about. Because, again, if the poles start moving more, even if the Earth doesn't change its physical orientation, it will change the magnetic fields into the sun and radically change weather. If the Earth's actual axis changes, which is connected to massive pole shifting, you're talking cataclysm. I mean, you know, you're talking uh, biblical Armageddon type stuff. And even though global warming alarmists may exploit the consequences to advance their own political agenda, paying a carbon tax to Al Gore will not lessen the impact of a potentially catastrophic uh, mega polar shift. And again, it's being driven predominantly, scientists believe, by the sun. And in evidence, I bring you uh, some of the uh, reports uh, that I uh, have here uh, dealing with the... Pole shift information. This is out of Salem-News.com. Magnetic polar shifts causing massive global superstorms. I'm going to go back into that after the break. Here's Fox News. Magnetic north pole shifts forces runaway closures at Florida airport. Uh, again, magnetic north pole shift forces runway closures at Florida airport. The planet's northern magnetic pole is drifting slowly but steadily towards Russia, and it's throwing off planes in Florida. It had basically been in one spot, moved a bit, but now it's moving faster. Tampa International Airport was forced to uh, readjust its runways Thursday to account for the movement of the Earth's magnetic fields, information, and informing the pilots uh, who rely upon to navigate their planes. Thanks to the fluctuations in the force, the airport has closed its primary runway until January 13th. And this happened back in early January, right when those birds died. We'll be right back. But the fact is, they've had GPS for decades and haven't had, on aircraft, the public just had it the last 10 years or so, they haven't had to really change them because of magnetic changes. And that shows how much the pole has already moved. And uh, the last two years, it's been accelerating in the north towards Russia, there's also movement, big movement in the south, and that is our shield, our force field, blocking out a lot of uh, the sun's uh, solar wind, solar radiation, and uh, it is scary. It is scary, but the only thing that's constant is change. There, of course, is the cataclysmic pole shift hypothesis is the conjecture that there have been rapid shifts in the relative positions of the modern day geographic locations of the poles and the axis of rotation of the earth. Yeah, that's the big one. If we physically change our orientation of the sun, I mean, the U.S. could end up where Chile is or uh, Chile could end up where Australia is. That is in the orientation of the sun. I mean, you name it, it could happen. And, and there's a lot of mainline scientists that say that this is the case. There's not just little changes, there's big ones. But even a slight magnetic change, again, affects how the winds of the sun are hitting the Earth, not just the solar radiation, but the overall uh, uh, you know, magnetic winds. Such a dynamic change could create calamities such as floods and tectonic events, earthquakes. This type of uh, event would occur in the physical poles, had been or would be suddenly shifted with respect to the underlying surface over a geologically short time frame because the tectonic plates, it's not just the planet moving in its orientation of the sun, it's the plates themselves floating around. I mean, how thick's the crust? Seven, eight, nine miles? And then the rest of it is molten rock. I, 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 I'm going to come back and do five more minutes on this. It, it's clear I probably got to do a whole show just on this, multiple shows, and really burrow into it because something's happening to the poles, something's happening to the Earth's magnetic field. Stay with us. Cataclysmic pole shift hypothesis, uh, and it goes on uh, to say that scientists have found that in Earth's history, 
that uh, there is a quote polar wander of one degree uh, per million years, but 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 you know they did say it was every million or so an asteroid hit us. Now they know it's every could be every few thousand, every six thousand uh, between approximately seven ninety and eight. 110 million years ago, when the supercontinent Rodina existed, two geographically rapid phases of true polar wander may have occurred in each of these. The Earth rotated 55 degrees. That's massive. And again, again, this is just scientists thinking that this happens, but this is respected. I mean, this is, they admit that there's evidence of this going on, but they're trying to say, don't worry, it was 800 million years ago. You know, don't worry, it was 200 million years ago. The uh, geographic poles of the Earth are the points on the surface of the planet that are intersected by the axis of rotation. The pole shift hypothesis describes a change in the location of these poles with respect to the underlying surface, a phenomenon distinct from the changes in axial orientation with respect to the plane of the elliptic that are caused by the precession and movement. So... And you add all of that with government increase in monitoring of this and opening new facilities uh, around the world to study it. Uh, I've got a press release here by the British Geological Survey, South Atlantic Anomaly, and South Georgia Magnetic Observatory. And they're talking about all these new anomalies they're picking up and how they're building uh, new facilities to track it. Uh, something I'll get into tomorrow is out of NASA.gov. We actually covered this uh, when it came out uh, in 2008, uh, but they've discovered that there are these magnetic pathways or portals where the magnetic fields of the sun and the earth are actually joining and creating types of uh, magnetic wormholes where there's all different types of variants and uh, connections. Uh, really heavy stuff. Magnetic portals connect earth to the sun. That's the NASA uh, headline. Here's Scientific American satellites spy changes to Earth's magnetic field. And they say, though the process can take nearly 5,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field periodically reverses. According to a report published today in Nature, scientists may have detected the beginning of the field's next such reversal. And that's when all the freakouts started back in April of 2002. That's where this article uh, is from out of Scientific American, and now here we are nine years later, and it is accelerating its shift. And so it could happen. I mean, it could happen, uh, and uh, that could be why the globalists are gearing up so much of this police state stuff as well. I mean, I've always tried to poo-poo 2012 and the rest of it, but obviously this is going to have to be looked at. But uh, even if you don't get tectonic, uh, massive tectonic movement or a overall change in the Earth's angulation to the sun there's the issue of the earth's magnetic field shifting in its orientation of the sun in massive weather shifts and that's what paul joseph's uh, watson's article uh, deals with in great detail and so i hope people uh, will check out that article at prisonplanet.com and get it out to everybody pole shift threatens to cause weather chaos prisonplanet.com Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.